All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Got three packages here today to go over. Two from Six Cents, one for milk and fishing, and we'll get right into it. This time, I haven't opened them and looked. Obviously, I know what's in them, but we'll get to unbox it together. Obviously, Six Cents has got their own tape now. Pretty cool. Alright, came in another pouch, like they usually do. First bait out of the box is a Table Rock Pro. You guys can see that. I'll get some close up pictures again for you guys like I did last time. But this is the Table Rock Pro. It's got a pink, uh, purplish back. Got a bunch of uh, little scales on the side. Awesome little jerk bait from Six Cents. All their 106 Provoke jerk baits are awesome baits. They go for $10.99 to $12.99, depending on if you want ones that have like the scales and everything on it. But uh, my favorite jerk bait out there. Got another jerk bait here. This is Smallmouth Rose. Another awesome little jerk bait. These dive up to six feet, I believe. It's got a pink back on this one. Kind of translucent on the side a little bit, uh, down to like uh, off white. It's got a bunch of gold flake on it too. Again, awesome little jerk bait. It's got some super sticky hooks. And here's the bait that we've been waiting for. The Curve 55. These are the finesse little square bills that dive up to three feet. So they're shallow diving finesse little curves. They're gonna have a very erratic hunting action. Got more like a one knocker kind of uh, rattling system. Um, but yep, super tiny little bill here. Like I said, dives up to three feet is the max. So it's gonna be perfect for ponds or uh, cranking shallow water rocks and stuff like that. This color right here is Shad Burst. I love this color. It's got like a green back. It's got that black line on the side. It's got the little shad dot. And then it's kind of got like a, a silvery-ish, like um, super shiny little shad burst on the side of it. Another color, this was the color that I was really looking at. It's a bluegill color. It is 4K bluegill. Again, awesome, awesome paint scheme, super sharp hooks. Got like a darkish green back, got a little blue around the eyes, got a red and orange bottom with some white, and then it's got some uh, little stripes, bluegill stripes on it. I'm very excited to use these, but uh, looking like it's probably not gonna happen until springtime. And again, had to get it in the black magic color. Super, super freaking cool color. I have a lot of the Black Magic in almost every series that I've bought. Um, I just like them. They're freaking sweet for like dirty, uh, muddy water. And uh, I don't know, caught trout on the 50X uh, in the Black Magic color, which was pretty cool. And I bought some more little uh, 316s, 3 yacht jig heads. And now we're getting into the prawns. Grass candy. Got two packs for the grass candy color of the new prawns from Six Cents. It's got like a purplish with some purple flake on that side. And then on the other side, it's green with some bluish green flake. Man, these things are awesome. Like I said, 
Everything that has to do with six cents, their plastics, their soft plastics are so durable. Like I, like I said, I caught three fish on that one um, and it didn't even tear. Whereas you, you do that with other baits, they tear after the first freaking fish. But two packs of the grass candy. And that'll be it for that box. Here's that second package of the prawn and grass candy. Uh, we'll finish off the six cents boxes real quick. Again, comes in a super sweet case. Pulling out. We'll start with what we got in here, I guess. This was the heaviest package. Got some more 3.8 Pro Shad Divine Swim Baits. And I got some more 3.2 Ghost Ice Minnow Divine Swim Baits. Here's that clout in the grass candy color now. Like I said, it's got the green side with the blue and green flake, and then the purple side with that purplish flake. Heck yeah, can't wait to use these. Still dealing with the snow. Tried to go fishing this morning. Uh, we lasted about two hours. Uh, my buddy's feet got cold, so <laughs> we ended up leaving, but not a big deal. So we got two clouts in that grass candy color. And these are all prawns. This is a prawn Nirvana. This is like a... Uh, Black and blue on one side. And then it's like a uh, off kind of uh, green on the other side. And uh, one thing that I did notice is they, you know, they got eyes on both sides. So you can use either side that you want. Obviously you could have did that anyways, but it's pretty cool the detail on that, that you have two sets of eyes. So it really doesn't matter what side you want to flip it to. And I got two packs of each color and uh, the Nirvanas are already sold out on the website. I noticed that um, they sold out. Oh, when I looked yesterday, they were already sold out. So that color went pretty quick and I'm assuming it's probably because it's black and blue. So here's Gill Dust in the prawn 4.2. This color looks freaking awesome. It's got some like gold and purple flake on like a watermelon color. Awesome freaking color. This is gonna work great. Do some flipping with it, put it on some jigs, might net rig it. Might put it on a shaky head, might put it on a wobble head and drag it. There's so many things that you can do with it. Green pumpkin blue. And this color is freaking awesome. The blue in this is freaking crazy. It's got like a tealish kind of blue flake in there. Again, kind of a green pumpkin color, but with a ton of blue flake. You can see all the salt that are in these when you start moving them around and, and pinching them and stuff, the salt starts coming out. So these will sink pretty good, even if you have them uh, weightless. And I think that is it. 
on the prawns. The other colors that are in here are just the doubles. Oh, wait, maybe not. Green pumpkin blue, gill dust. I was wrong. Nirvana. So I got dark melon red. So this is your kind of average watermelon red color. Watermelon body, red flakes. I can't wait to use these. I have I used the uh, other color, the Nirvana color already, um, and caught those fish with it, but I can't wait to actually use these during the summertime. Fish is, fishing has been so freaking rough around here. Even using minnows, like I don't get it. Last year when I was ice fishing, we used minnows all the time. And uh, basically, dead stick them most of the time on like a little spoon and stuff or a Swedish nipple and uh, caught tons of fish on it but I've used minnows three times this year and not been able to catch one fish on them so I I don't know what's going on last package here is from Millican Fishing try not to ruin what's in here Boom. Millican fishing beanie. So I got me a new beanie. Nice and tight. Heck yeah. The only other beanie I had was the six inch one. This one's super nice and freaking tight. I like the big logo on there. And then I got the new ice hoodie from Millican Fishing. The Slaunch Hunter ice hoodie. I thought this was freaking cool. It's got a little large mouth or a small mouth. I can't really tell obviously because it's <laughs> colored blue, but I thought it was freaking cool. And all their hoodies are super soft material. Um, even this future hoodie from Millican Fishing that I have on right now. Super soft, super warm. And uh, I had to get another one. And obviously it's the ice season, so I wanted to get a Slaunch Hunter ice hoodie that just came out. So you guys should try, try some of his clothing out, even Six Cents clothing. They're all super freaking warm, super freaking nice. And we'll put this on right now. Got the uh, Slaunch Hunter long sleeve. Boom. Heck yeah. Just a little big. This is an XL, but it's got a little extra room. So when you wash it and it shrinks a little bit, still going to fit perfect. But this is the new Slaunch Hunter Ice Hoodie from Milk and Fishing. Man, it's so soft. I don't know what kind of material it is. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look on there. But this is XL. I weigh 230 pounds. And I'm 6'1". And this fits perfect. A little loose. But like I said, once you wash it and dry it, it's going to tighten up quite a bit so that's the end of the video guys thank you for watching hit subscribe hit the like button comment down below and look forward to uh, some more videos coming soon like i said i tried to fish today and um it didn't go too well unfortunately mikey was the only one that caught a fish um but i tried out my new garmin mikey was trying to get used to that um and it was just freaking yeah. freezing today. It was a little windy, so that with like 27 degrees was kind of a pain um, to deal with. Not so much for me, but I had my nice um, corker uh, snow boots on, and he was wearing some regular steel toes that obviously got wet, and he couldn't handle it no more. So anyways, again, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the views and all the subscribers that I've got. And... Uh, We'll do a giveaway. Um, I actually just gave uh, 
a pack of these 3.2s to a guy that um, unfortunately couldn't, uh, not that he couldn't afford, he didn't have a credit card or something to order anything online and he really wanted a pack of 3.2 um, Divine Swim Baits. So I said, you know what, I got some extra, I'll ship you out one for free. So let's do a giveaway. And what should I give away? If you guys want a movement, we'll do a, we'll do a movement. We'll do a movement L7. We're gonna give this guy away. Movement L7. This guy dives three to six feet. It has a super like S waving action. It's got a loud knocker in it, super sharp hooks. So we'll give this guy away. So comment down below and uh, let's say Sunday evening, I'll go on my pick app and I'll pick one winner to win this movement L7 and I'll get it sent out to whoever the winner is uh, Monday morning. So thank you guys for watching again. We'll see you on the next one.